mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies Ooh. in early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find no. me. Unless you checked the lobby, hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me in Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. DVD Ever TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, according to Saigon, he says he was doing an interview for the Murder Dog magazine. Now, in this article, he spoke on hip hop groups from the past and present that had an influence on the youth and mainly a negative influence on the youth. Now, one of the groups that Saigon spoke on in his interview for the Murder Dog magazine was onyx now one thing i could say that a lot of people say that onyx in the 90s when they was popping in the early 90s they had a big influence on people especially the youth they made the youth want to go outside and you know act a fool and a lot of people from this era say this now me i'm not too sure because i was a little younger you get what I'm saying? So I kind of missed the whole wave. But a lot of people that was just a little bit older than me, they say the same thing about um, Onyx. So Saigon took to the Murder Dog magazine and spoke on Onyx. You get what I'm saying? Now, fast forward, Saigon is in Switzerland doing a show. He's in the lobby of his hotel and he runs into Sticky Fingers. He sees Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers look at him like, yo, what up? And he tries to run down on Saigon like, yo... I heard what you were saying about my group. Nobody talks about my group like that. So Saigon responded like, yeah, I said some stuff about your group. I don't back down. I don't backpedal. I don't throw rocks and hide my hands. Anything I say, I stand on it. And yeah, I said it. So, you know, Sticky Fingers was going crazy. You know, he had the voice on. Yo, man. Uh-huh. His eye going left and right. And, you know, putting on the show or whatever and making a lot of noise in the lobby. So Saigon was just like, look, man, I'm staying in this hotel. You staying in this hotel? You know, because if that's the case, we could get it on like men and fight, knuckle up. We ain't got to get into no guns or none of that. We could just knuckle up. So, you know, Sticky Fingers is like, oh, you staying in this hotel. We can knuckle up. Um, Let me ask you something. You drink? <laughs> Yo, Sticky Fingers asked him, did he drink? He ain't want no smoke with Saigon. Once he see Saigon was really like that. You get what I'm saying? He wanted to go get drinks. So, you know, him and Saigon went and got a few drinks. They went to the bar and Saigon said Sticky Fingers was buying him drinks all night. Like he right. came on to me on some rah rah. Right. And when he said I was, when he seen that I was willing mm. to take it there, mm. he wanted to go have a drink. I ain't gonna lie, man. Onyx seemed like they got a little bad reputation. Like a lot of people be trying to say they not really like that. I don't know. They like the old dudes that act a little too extra with the extra bop in their walk, you know, the extra tough face on. And they never grew out of that. They still holding on to that. And, and, and they never changed with time. So I guess that's where it come from. People try to say, oh, they was barbers back in the day. They ain't putting no work in. And you know what Sticky Fingers get a lot of his um bad little rep from? Him losing that fight on MTV to that white boy. It's like, we know you can't fight. So, like, come on. We know you can't fight. You got beat up by that white boy. Crazy, man. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like people be discrediting Onyx a little as far as they shriek credibility. Now, what I do want to say is I kind of like the fact that Saigon is always willing to fight first instead of just taking it to the guns. That's real manly. I salute him for that. But anyway, get in that comment section and tell me what y'all think. If you're a fan of these old hip hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're going to have our foot on their necks all month long. And I'm out. One.